Hey guys, this is Stefan, and I'm coming to you from Santorini, Greece. bracelets from the local shops here. I always like to support these local shops that make me handmade jewelry. And the flowers. The butterfly. It's very nice earrings, babe. Just got them. Earrings, purple, mm -hmm. and your bracelets. Got matching ones. So right now Tatiana and I are shopping and uh, bought a few different items, but one thing that we wanted to share with you guys, you know, there's times where we're shopping and there's certain items we really like, but it's really, really expensive. And we're both doing well and you know, we're fairly successful at this stage uh, of our lives. And it gives us the freedom and the ability to be able to buy certain things that we want. But the interesting thing is, there's still other levels of success. There's still other levels. For example, there's some items that we saw, like this one beautiful, beautiful necklace and, and, and ring that was like $6,000. And that's something I could afford, you know, we could buy that, but we're not prepared to, you know, invest that money at this point um, in something like that. Um, there are certain items like that we might buy, but it's not like the regular thing that we do. So it's actually motivation. We like to use that as motivation so that, you know, one day we're going to be at that level where we don't even have to think about the price or even worry about it or even know what it is. We're in that position of financial abundance and freedom. We're just like, you know what, if I want that, I'm going to buy it. So we're not there yet where we can buy anything that we want. I mean, we could technically, but we're not... The mindset isn't there yet because there are still a lot better uses that we could put that money to, such as investing in more 
in our business, investing in different things, and just a materialistic item like that, it's not, it's, it's not like something that we really uh, are willing to spend that amount of money on. But one day, who knows? And so, this is like a little game you can play with yourself. If there are certain things like that that you want, but you can't yet afford, you should feel a little bit frustrated, a little bit disturbed, and then use that as motivation to work hard so that one day you'll be in that position where you can buy whatever it is that you want. And it doesn't have to be jewelry, it doesn't have to be materialistic things, it could be anything. That's just an example that I'm giving you guys. Um, but use, use those sort of things as motivation so that you can do better, add more value, create more abundance, and then be totally free. So here's some of the items. For example, this, or just that ring right there, a couple thousand dollars. Six thousand dollars for that ring. All beautiful, beautiful jewelry. One day, one day. That's all you gotta say to yourself, one day. Now we're here at the open air cinema. So we're gonna see the movie Blockers and it's an outdoor cinema here. So we're gonna be able to watch the movie Under the Stars. <laughs> lessons and these moments I'm grateful for them because they're opportunities to they're 
opportunities to look at myself and improve and grow myself because I'm not perfect, nobody is. And I think we all have this awareness of our own actions and behaviors and thoughts and feelings and emotions, then it gives us an opportunity to grow and improve from it. So just wanted to share that with you guys.